All right, so cross is kind of a weird sport. Not only are you riding your bike around, you're actually getting on and off it multiple times per lap. And let's face it, if you're coming from another bike background, getting on and off your bike quickly and keeping your momentum going forward is not the easiest thing to do. So I'm gonna break down remounts right here and talk for a second about dismounts as well. So first thing with remounts is typically you're getting on from the non-drive side of your bike right here. Both hands on your hoods. The way I like to start this is actually at walking speed so that you get the technique properly. So at a walking speed, plant your left foot, open your hips towards the bike, swing your leg up and around, hit the saddle with the inside of your thigh, drive your knee forward onto the pedal. That's a lot of steps. So I would encourage anyone to break it down one by one. Plant the foot, thigh on the saddle. And again, do this at a walking speed. Once you feel comfortable with that, start driving that knee forward and immediately onto the pedal. And only once you feel that you've got that at that walking speed, is there any point in adding any actual speed to it, right? So once you're there, start at a slow jog, speed it up a little bit. But as soon as you start seeing your form disappear, and there's two ways that that happens, is one is what we call the stutter step, which is basically when you hop and catch yourself before you get on the bike. That's no good because it kills your momentum. The other thing that people end up doing as they get more comfortable is the Superman. The Superman is when your legs swing way up behind you and you land hard in the saddle. Same problem. Your momentum is going straight down into the saddle and you're risking some sort of terrible injury all at the same time. So we're looking for a nice clean remount where your momentum is going forward. If you're having trouble with this, some of the key things that I like to think about are planting the foot, stepping onto the bike instead of jumping, continuing your momentum in a forward direction. So again, that's planting the foot, stepping onto the bike, not jumping, keeping your momentum going forward. This might not click right away. If you've been stutter stepping your entire cyclocross career, it might be a little bit tough to get rid of that habit. But basically, walking speed, bring the speed up, when you start making mistakes, back down to the walking speed. And trust me when I say, it will click eventually. It might just take a while.